The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Now, back to your turn on 1330 WEBY, Northwest Florida's talk radio. The phone lines are open, so call in and join the conversation at 623-1330. Welcome back to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallup. Sit down, buckle up, and hang on. All right, welcome back, America World, and welcome back, World. And uh, listen, our guest this afternoon is Mike Zulo, the lead investigator for the sheriff, Joe Arpaio, Obama fraud case. Uh, Mike, it's good to have you with us today. Listen, uh, before we go any further, I, I've just got to, I've got to say this. Uh, as this case is moving forward and it's gaining steam, gaining momentum, VIPs are coming on. Groups of VIPs are coming on. I know P.P. Simmons is reporting this a lot. A lot of Internet news sites are reporting it. Uh, of course, we're reporting it on Freedom Friday. People are recording this. They're putting audio and video of all of this up all over the Internet. And so millions of people are now being um, charged and recharged by the possibility of something actually happening. Now, of course, we've got the Alabama Supreme Court involved, and you guys are involved with them. The Obots are going crazy, and they're desperately attempting to get a disinformation campaign going, but you're not giving them anything, Mike. Boy, <laughs> come on now, you're not playing fair. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. They're scurrying like rats, and they're showing exactly, they're showing just how irrelevant they are. They are absolutely irrelevant. They've been running around screaming like little brats for the last four or five years, and now all of a sudden uh, they find themselves in, in a case of being very, very uh, inept and uh, without power, without the power they thought they had. Well, it's true, Carl. And, you know, this is a unique situation because I believe the majority of those people are paid operatives that get paid to just disseminate disinformation and, yeah. and try to bring doubt and confusion to what's really turning out to be a very clear issue. If you look at this document, the evidence is the document itself. Yeah. I mean, it's not a, it's, there's not a better crime scene. Right. All the evidence you need is right here. Right. The difference is... You have to uncover the facts that are surrounding the evidence. Right. In other words, the truth, the true facts, proven facts that bring you to only one conclusion. And those facts actually do exist inside the document. Right. So what you have to do then is compile a preponderance of verifiable facts, proven facts, that will bring the truth to light. And pure truth can never be destroyed by any argument. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. And, it, and so, there's, so there's not a lack of evidence. What we have been lacking for five years have, has been an audience who will hear the evidence. But that tide is changing, right? Well, that tide is changing. And, and in this case, what, what a lot of these people do is they will present on message boards or what have you um, half-truths or unsubstantiated facts. They're lies. Right. And they do that in an attempt to influence people's perception rather than to convey to them truthful information. Right. And I've got to give them this. They've done a pretty good job in the last five years of influencing people's perception. But people like you, people like me, and, and many others, uh, we, we, we have not kowtowed to that. We've not buckled under and folded down. Uh, we don't care what people think about us because we know the truth and we have the facts, and that's all we're dealing in. That's all we've ever dealt in. Plus, our safety valve is, is that you and I have always said that all we want is the truth, and if somebody can show us something different than what we have, We'll shut up and go home. Well, and that's true. And their main motive is to change or manage your perception of reality because reality is often a very subjective thing. Right. And you know that old saying, perception is reality. Right. So what these folks will do is they will make written statements or however they do it, convey it. They'll make what's called a convincing statement. And a convincing statement is a truth or an irrefutable statement that is made in an effort to convince you of their narrative, therefore trying to influence your perception. And they do this rather than conveying any real information that addresses the facts at hand. Right. So in doing this, they might come out and say, and we've all heard it, OCR software creates layers. That is a true statement. Mm -hmm. But it is not a true factual statement when it comes to this document. Mm -hmm. 
So they changed perceptions. People will walk away with that because in this you know, society we live in, it's 30-second sound bites. Right. And they think, oh, OCR does it. Nobody even knows what OCR stands for. Right. The OCR does it. These people have said it. I have heard trained litigators try to give me that argument. Right. Right. Okay? And, and, and so you, you have, Go ahead. Well, you have to realize that deceptive people are just always looking for ways to manage your perception so they can get you manipulated by their dishonesty. Right. And I, I just happen to believe, and I go back to my investigator's mind, when you have people working so hard for so long to be so deceptive, there's a reason for that. In other words, y- you and I, if somebody challenged our uh, uh, you know, identifying documents because we were in a job, um, we would gladly present them, and we would have done it five years ago. But to, to manage deception for five years... It, 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 that speaks volumes in and of itself, doesn't it? Well, and it does. And the, the truth of that matter is, within those deceptions, you end up getting what are known as unintended messages. Yeah. And yeah. those can be truthful statements that are made by that deceptive individual that literally, when you analyze the statement, it conveys information to you that that person doesn't realize they're giving you. Yes. And that's like the old truth is in the lie. Yeah. You know, people used to call it. And the other dilemma that they're faced with now, they've got a five-year track record. They're psychologically entrenched in this argument. They are dug their heels in into this argument. They have to stick to their story, but eventually that story traps them. Yes. And they get trapped in their very own life. Yeah, it's, it's going to fall apart. And, and you and I know, and we're not at liberty to say, and this is also driving them crazy, we know that they've already made mistakes, they've already given us information that's going to destroy them, and they don't even realize it. In their five years of, of, of trying to cover for this guy, things that they have said are playing right into your hands in evidence collection. Absolutely. I mean, you could just start to take apart some of that stuff and you start to realize what they're concerned about because they can't defend it. Right, and they will soon find out. You know, I tell them, I pat them on the head and say, just be patient, little irrelevant one. You will soon find out. <laughs> they, they, they're soon going to find out how powerless, how inept they are, and how irrelevant they've been all along. Uh, this thing is really snowballing, Mike. I want to thank you. Our prayers are with you. We pray for your safety, for your sanity. I know this has been overwhelming, and we still have some. you still have some tough days to go, but uh, God bless you give our regards to sheriff arpaio he's a great a true american hero and by the way so are you and i know you don't want to accept that but you are just thank you for your tenaciousness hang in there uh look forward to seeing what's going to happen in the alabama supreme court case but way more important even than that as huge as that is is the potential of upcoming criminal prosecution in this and all of the vips that are beginning to surround you now well carl i want to thank you and i also want to thank you for being the voice of truth because you only put out what's factual and what we could substantiate with true facts. So I really want to, you know, I really commend you for that. You you. never go off the reservation, and I truly appreciate it. Thank you. I try, and if I do, just pull me back on, because that's all I want is truth. Mike, we got to let you go for right now. God bless you. Thank you for your time today. Mike Zulo. Mike, thanks. Thank you. Okay, good deal. Well, folks, you are listening to Freedom Friday. Mallory Bardwell, your world-famous producer. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.